today we're going to look at the skill of performing scissors. Scissors can also be known as bubbles. If you watch TikTok or YouTube, you might have heard bubbles referred to a lot. Scissors, bubbles, you can use the terms interchangeably. What you would have noticed in my introduction was a little bit different. I did some scissors in a circle before I did my pivot to say g'day. Okay, scissors or bubbles. It means that we are creating a round shape with our feet before creating another round shape to give us momentum going forwards or going backwards. This video is going to look at forward scissors and then we're going to look in a further video at backward scissors. So many people say to me, the things that I want to learn are how to stop, how to turn, and how to go backwards. And I'm here to tell you that within three lessons, I have people who have gone from never having skated before to being able to do all three of those skills that were on their bucket list. So what might seem the impossible task really isn't, and I have a lot of proof in Twin City Skate Club that it absolutely isn't impossible. It's a lot easier than you might think. Okay, basic forward scissors. Let's go back to our skating posture. Chins up, arms out. Don't forget that we're pressing down that imaginary table. Tuck our bottom in, tuck our tummy in, and down we go. Okay, nice straight posture. Head, shoulders, bottom, feet, bent knees. Perfect. In that position, what I'd like you to do is put your heels together and push your toes out. I call it first position from ballet, which is pretty much exactly what it is on roller skates. Okay, heels together, toes out, nice and wide. Okay, our arms are going to be above our legs. And right now, we're in our box of stability with our four wheels on either foot firmly on the ground. Okay, what I'd like you to do from this point is just to shift your weight ever so slightly back onto your back wheels. Not so much that your front wheels lift off the floor and not so much that you start to roll forward. Okay, I'm gonna do it forwards for you guys, sorry, sideways for you. I know I'm asking a lot of you. It's a really fine balance point here. Not too far back, not too far forward. Don't roll, stay still, put your toes apart. Let's do it nice and slow. Okay, heels together in first position for ballet. Press down on your eight wheels in your skating posture. And now, just a little bit back. And what I found myself doing is tilting my pelvis forward. Okay, so right now, I've got my weight on my heels on either foot because I can lift my toes up. But you'll notice I'm not rolling. Okay, what I'd like you to do is to drag your toes in so your feet are parallel, like that. Okay, I'm gonna do it facing you guys. First position, remembering where we put that weight and drag our feet in so they're parallel. Keep your weight ever so slightly on those heels. Push your toes back out again. First position. Pull them back in so they're parallel. Push them out. First position. And pull them in. Just have a little bit of a practice with that for me. Okay. What is happening there? is you are able to maneuver your toes because your weight is on your heels. And that's the movement that you need for scissors. So how do we turn that into rolling forwards with some sort of momentum? Scissors are quite tricky if you don't have momentum. So if you find you're really not rolling, what can be really helpful is to have your bestie or your hubby or your wife even your children walking along side of you, holding your hand and giving you a little bit of momentum just to keep you rolling and also to give you that confidence that you're nice and stable. 
That's something that I've noticed really allows people to develop that scissor technique because it gives them some momentum to start rolling. Eventually, what you'll find is that you've got the confidence and the balance to really be able to use those leg muscles to create that momentum for you yourself. Okay, I'm going to start at the side over here. First position, skating posture. I'm just going to lean my weight back on my heels and just practice pulling those toes in and pushing back out again. First position. Okay, from this point, what I'd like you to do is lean back even a little bit further so you get some roll. Because your feet are pointing out, they're going to want to continue to go out. But that's going to end up not so fun and we're going to lose our box of stability entirely. So as they go out to where they're comfortably far enough, what we need to do then is engage these muscles and pull those toes back in so they come together and your feet end up parallel again. Push your heels out, sorry, push your toes out, lean back, pull them back in again. Okay. What will allow you to get that roll, as I said, is really leaning back on those wheels so you start to roll forward. With the assistance of someone who holds your hand, gives you a little bit of a pull along, just a little bit of a pull along, you'll be able to maneuver those feet so you can do some scissors in your small space skating. I'm going to start over here, I'm going to generate my own power, out, in, out, in, and back again, out, in, out, in. Show you going forward. 